So I looked at, is IVF safe in vascular EDS specifically? Because this is a question that's coming up quite uh, frequently um, in um, uh, patients who are asking because they want to have a healthy, unaffected child in addition to um, uh, probably considering even surrogacy in some cases. So um, ovarian, is ovarian uh, stimulation, that is the main question that we often worry about, contraindicated. Um, so I looked at um, these two papers, Germain et al. in 2007 and Bergeron um, et al. in 2014. Um, one of the things that um, they have concluded is um, increased serum estradiol con concentration um, is associated with increased vascularity in pregnancy. And this might also be associated with increased risk of vascular rupture in pregnancy as well. And they have, um, the first paper, Germain et al. actually concludes um, that it's more likely in third trimester um, and in the immediate postpartum period. Um, the Bergeron et al. paper um, hypothesized that perhaps the same um, increased levels of um, estradiol, um, similar to increased estrogen levels in pregnancy, might be the underlying mechanism for um, uh, vascular fragility um, while um, the patient is pregnant. Um, and I will, um, so the Bergeron et al. paper specifically um, talks about one case where um, um, the um, young lady went, um, underwent IVF um, uh, and actually had uh, ovarian hyperstimulation um, and developed a splenic artery um, uh, rupture, rupture um, in, in her first cycle. Um, so the cycle had to be stopped so that um, uh, she could um, have uh, treatment for her splenic artery rupture. So ovarian stimulation in itself carries risks in patients with vascular EDS. I have described that paper there in more details. It was a 33-year-old female with vascular EDS um, who had multiple arterial dissections and a ruptured aneurysm of the splenic artery after undergoing um, a, a cycle for ICSI. So that patient in particular went through um, embryo extractions from several unstimulated um, uh, cycles. Um, uh, and they call that IVM cycle. So IVM is an assisted reproductive technology which involves collecting eggs from a woman before they are matured. Um, and so the eggs are actually developed in the dish um, uh, and there is no use of ovarian stimulatory drugs. Um, so she went, uh, underwent PGD via surrogacy, um, uh, but however the embryo did not implant in the surrogate and probably a disappointing outcome for her. So what can we conclude from this evidence? Um, ovarian stimulation may also have increased risk of arterial dissections. And I've said more studies are required. We've only got two papers which actually give some um, indication of why there might be risks, and it's only hypothesis in these cases. Um, and IVM, as in in vitro maturation with BGD and surrogacy is possible. Um, whether it will be successful or not, um, it is um, um, uh, remains um, uh, um, in question, um, and the failure rates have not been um, appropriately um, studied. Um, and as I've uh, highlighted, there more studies are requ um, required. So, giving you the evidence, um, I'm also um, making some recommendations here, and I'm not sure whether all of you would agree with this, but it, this is something that uh, we have extensively discussed within the Vassern group. Um, when I presented the cases um, in the beginning, I wonder if all of you thought about a specialized MDT shared decision making as one of the important criteria, but that is thought to be really um, essential in these cases. Um, Pre-conception counseling in dedicated cardiac obstetric clinics um, with the genetics input where necessary is thought to be ideal. Um, discussion of reproductive op options, including limitations of PGD, would be appropriate because I ha we have, um, Guys and St. Thomas is a PGD, um, national PGD center, and we often actually deal with patients who've been referred for PGD and then having to counsel them saying, in vascular ADS, this may not be appropriate, these are the risks. Um, so coming to that stage, uh, seeing them at that stage is much more difficult than if we actually had prepared them very early on. 
prior imaging of the arterial tree to help in management um, in pregnancy is also thought to be ideal. So we, if we know a patient has a lot of other arterial lesions, um, uh, that might carry additional risks for pregnancy. Um, and the ESE guidelines actually recommend that continuation of beta blockade therapy and monitoring fetal growth um, um, in patients with vascular EDS is um, recommended and ideal. So those were the main recommendations that we kind of have discussed extensively and come up with. Um, and if I come back to the cases again, um, and I'm not going to discuss it extensively here, but we can have a discussion after um, uh, this talk um, as to where we would go um, in terms of recommending um, for um, these patients. I'd like to end there and say thank you um, to um, Vasan for facilitating this as well as to the Ella Danlo Society for uh, sponsoring this project.